Is your anxious teenager worrying too much about the start of the school year? Hi, my name is Kent Toussaint. Welcome to Tips on Teens. I am a marriage and family therapist, and I specialize in helping kids, teens, and families to live happier lives. By the way, if you or someone you love could really benefit from consulting with a family therapist, please contact us here at Teen Therapy Center. Our email and phone number is in the caption below. Now, let's jump into today's parent submitted question on Tips on Teens. My 17-year-old daughter is really agitated about going back to school next week. She's obsessing over stuff to the point where she's giving herself headaches. She's worried about doing well in her AP English class, what she's going to wear, making the volleyball team. Honestly, it's endless. How do I know if this level of worry is natural or if it's something she should be getting help for? Thank you for your question. When I was thinking about this today, my first thought was, well, is this kind of a new thing? Is it just about the start of the school year or has it been going for a while? And then I, I'm reading between the lines and you know, reading the tea leaves and I'm thinking, I think this girl probably has been dealing with anxiety for a while. Because if it was just this school year, well, okay, there's something specific about this, but my hunch is this girl worries about everything and she's probably been worrying for a while. So how do we address that? For, this is what you don't do. Don't say, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. You ever been really worried and someone tells you not to worry about it and you just want to punch them in the nose? So don't do that. Instead, with all your strength and wisdom, with your warmth and compassion, and if she'll accept warm, safe, physical affection, hold her hand, put your arm around her shoulder, tell her you love her, tell her you understand, you felt this way before, you know, I understand it, it we'll get through it together. Um, I think that's the way you start. Um, this is not a logical problem. So what I mean is, you know, logical, logical problems require logical solutions. This is not a logical problem. This is an emotional problem. So an emotional problem requires emotional solutions. So the more emotional validation and support you can give her without trying to fix the problem, I think is going to be helpful. Secondly, she's a volleyball player, right? Great. So she's an athlete or she is interested in being an athlete. One of the things we know about anxiety is that healthy, moderate exercise is one of the best things you can do to treat anxiety. One of the very best. Again, healthy, moderate exercise. Whatever that means to you, I'll let you figure that out. It's a very broad umbrella. Uh, creative outlets, a little less screen time, some positive interactions with family members, positive social interactions, you know, exciting things to look forward to. Hey, let's go school shopping for clothes or for school supplies, having things to look forward to. Create avenues for your daughter to feel like she has some control. Uh, if that's not enough, the next step would be having her talk to a therapist. Maybe that will help. It takes time. One session is not going to do it. It's a process. The next step would be, if you think she just is not dealing with her anxiety well, consulting with an adolescent psychiatrist. I know you're thinking, you know, medication, my kid. Let's, psychotropic medication for teenagers is not the worst thing you can do. It may not be the first thing you do, and that's fine. Exhaust all the other avenues first. Exercise, creativity, sleep. Sleep's a big deal. If she's not getting enough sleep, she's going to be more anxious. Make sure she's getting enough sleep. Having healthy nutrition, getting enough water, staying hydrated, all those self-care things we always talk about. You know, if that's still not working, try therapy. If that's not working enough, try medicine, medical options. There's a lot of different things, but try to do your very best. Try not to dismiss the feelings. Be compassionate warm, just like you'd want someone to be for you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you were feeling anxious. That's our question for today. Thank you for submitting. If you'd like me to answer your questions here on Tips on Teens, email us at tipsonteens at teentherapycenter.com, or you can direct messages here right on social media. Again, my name is Kent Toussaint, licensed marriage and family therapist, and I lead Teen Therapy Center and the nonprofit 501c3 organization, Child and Teen Counseling both here in Woodland Hills, California. Thank you so much. Keep your questions coming. I'm looking forward to answering your question next week here on Tips on Teens, every Wednesday at noon, live on Facebook. Bye-bye.